back in the early 70s, I was working at De Anza College. I was teaching uh, media classes and producing a, a lot of multimedia programs. In those days, multimedia was slideshows as <laughs> opposed to uh, the kinds of things we have today with computers. But uh, I'm doing documentaries, video, audio, a lot of different things. And uh, on De Anza's campus, they had uh, a couple of interesting programs. They had 500 disabled students on the campus, which was uh, which was really uh, exciting and, and rare at the time. And uh, the state of California was trying to figure out how to fund programs for adults with physical disabilities and other kinds of disabilities, really. And um, De Anza had such a, a model program that I was asked to produce a documentary on uh, students with disabilities and how they functioned and how community colleges could serve that population. And that was produced for the legislature in California and the result was that uh, disabled student programs became very well funded within the community college system in California. Um, at the same time, um, De Anza had started a program for adults with learning disabilities and uh, at the time, very few people knew what a learning disability was. They, it was kind of a catch-all for, for anything from autistic to uh, <laughs> bad-behaving students. And uh, they needed to know what that was. And again, there was no funding for that, that population. So I was asked to produce a documentary on that. And that kind of got me involved with, with people with disabilities in general. And, a company called TSI, Telesensory Systems Incorporated, uh, saw one of those productions and they asked me to come and produce one for them on blind people uh, in the workplace um, so that they could see that blind people, or they could show that blind people could be competitive and, and effective in the workplace. And they sent me around the country and I interviewed a lot of different blind people using Speech Plus Calculator and uh, they were also using Opticons at the time, and uh, I was just amazed that they, these people were competitively employed, they were making their way. I made a point of uh, interviewing all of the uh, supervisors as well, and the supervisors at the same time were saying, yeah, these people are great, they're great employees, they come to work on time, they're there all the time, they don't get sick, they're, they're just great, and uh, I thought, wow, this is amazing. And I came back and I produced that. I produced a couple of other shows for uh, uh, TSI at the time. One specifically on electronic travel aids. And the electronic travel aids that, that were being provided, um, or they were selling, actually were, were manufactured in New Zealand from a company at the time called Wormold, which became Pulse Data International. And um, so I got to know the people down at, at uh, at Wormald, <laughs> and Russell Smith in particular, and we became fairly close uh, friends, and um, I just started working more closely with them, and, uh, and there were more products that they were producing, some very interesting products. So between the revolutionary kinds of things that TSI was doing in those days, they were the first ones to introduce a um, really a, a laptop computer um, before Tandy or Radio Shack or any of the sighted people had them. The Versa Braille was their f portable word processing for a blind person. And this is back in the late 70s. And it's pretty, it was pretty amazing to be part of that. 